over fear. And this is part one. And can you describe what are we going to be talking about the next few weeks? Well, today, what, what I want to do, first of yeah. all, what I want to do today is expose fear wow. for what it really is. Um, today, we're going to expose fear for what it is. And this is also what we're going to do. We're going to cover three spiritual laws. Mm. There's laws in the spiritual realm that if we don't know what they are, we could be activating the wrong law in our oh, life or we could not be activating the right law in our life. Wow. And we're going to go pretty deep tonight. So you might want to get a pen and a paper and really take really good notes because we're going to do is expose fear and the demonic wow. warfare behind it. Wow. You know, I, I like what you put on your notes here. We're going to expose the truth about fear and the spiritual laws. Things don't just happen. Right. Can you explain that? Yeah, yeah things don't just happen. We, we have to understand what laws right. govern life. We will become aware, when we're come aware of these laws, then we're going to be aware of the choices, the thoughts, and the actions wow. that are actually causing things to happen. Nothing just happens. Wow. And as we look at the notes here, as we're going through fear, um, you've broken it down into two kingdoms. Yeah. Let's go into that, the two kingdoms that we could choose from. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to really understand the spiritual realm and understand the spiritual warfare that happens through faith, and fear. The Bible talks mm. about this, that we're fighting a fight of faith. That means it's a fight right. to hold on to your faith. So that must mean wow. that there's a, there's a resistance to conquer our wow. faith. And one of the greatest enemies to faith, it's really fear, fear. anxiety, worry, and doubt. Wow, so we're going to talk about the two kingdoms there's two kingdoms yeah. that are going to be ruling over, that are rule, that rule over our life, yeah. one or the other. Wow. Not both of them are ruling. We're under one or the other. Wow, I like that. We're under one or the other. Each kingdom now, if you're talking about kingdoms, they must have a different, a different king or some kind of different government. Yeah. Is that right? So we're going to talk about the kingdom for two kingdoms. The first kingdom is the kingdom of of God. Mm. See, God wants us to experience his kingdom, the kingdom of God in our lives. Wow. Jesus came to give us a kingdom life. And this means a life mm -hmm. under his love and a life under his leadership. This is how wow. we're supposed to live under his kingdom. Wow. And in Mark 1 15, look what it says. His message was this. This is Jesus. His message was this. This was his message. Mm. At last, the fulfillment of the age has come. And he said, I've been waiting for eternity for this moment. Yeah. And it says this, it is time for the realm of the God's kingdom, for the realm of God's kingdom. There's that word, God's mm. kingdom to be experienced in its fullness. Turn your lives back to God and put your trust in the hope filled gospel. Wow. So this scripture is saying this. That there's been, a, God has been waiting for yeah. all this time for people to experience a kingdom life in God's wow. kingdom that they've never experienced before. Wow. And what does the kingdom of God look like? You're talking about the kingdom of God. What does that look like? What should we, um, ex what should we be experiencing in the kingdom of well, God? In the, in the kingdom of God, this is what we're going to experience. Every promise of God mm. in our lives. That means Love the God. promise of of forgiveness, love, mm. joy, peace, victory, freedom, eternal life, prosperity, healing, the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, and so much more. In the wow. kingdom of God is every single thing that we desire in life under wow. his leadership and under our king, Jesus. I love it. Forgiveness, love, joy, peace. So that's the kingdom of God, the first kingdom. What's the second kingdom? And we're gonna, uh, before we get to that, just, I want to just say yeah. something. To get into this kingdom, it said here, turn your lives back to God oh, yeah. and put your trust in the hope-filled gospel. gospel. What he was wow. saying is there's a way to get into this kingdom. There's only one mm. way to get in this kingdom. You can't get into this kingdom or under God's leadership through works, through, yeah. through, our, through mm -hmm. manipulation. There's only one way to get in his kingdom. It's turning our, ourselves to God yeah. and look at this, trusting in God. Wow, trusting that's good. in Jesus. You know what this is called? Love a that. belief or another way to say trust 
is faith. Right, that's We good. enter the kingdom through faith. By faith. And most people, and some people think as well, and I've been there, where you could put your faith in a religion. Can you tap on that for a second? Is it about a religion or you're saying it's just about our trust and faith in well, God? Well, it says there, turn your life back to God and put your trust in the gospel, which mm. is, what is the gospel? It's yeah. the message that Jesus came he suffered, yes. he died for our sins and resurrected from the dead. This is the gospel. The only way wow. to enter this kingdom is to place our faith in Jesus Christ. Man. It doesn't say trust in a religion, right. trust in man, okay. trust in your works, but in the gospel, man, Jesus that's Christ. powerful. And God wants us that forgiveness, love, joy, peace, victory, freedom. So that's the first kingdom. That's the first so kingdom. So obviously there is another kingdom. What is the second kingdom? Now this other kingdom, the second kingdom, it's really harsh, but this is what it says, is the kingdom of Satan. And the majority of the people in this mm. world are living under that kingdom. Wow. And the scripture, the scripture goes on to say, Colossians 1.13, it says, for he has rescued us out of the kingdom of gloom, of Satan's kingdom, and brought us into the kingdom of his dear son. Wow. So we're seeing two different kingdoms. Yep. And the thing about these kingdoms, they have different laws. Mm. And what's legal in one kingdom is illegal Legal's. in the other kingdom. Wow. So the laws are totally different. And, and so there's Good. things that right now in the kingdom of God that if you tried to bring them in, they're oh, illegal. They're illegal. Wow, and it's the same good. thing with saying that's there's good. laws in the kingdom of God that, that that if we try to put them in the kingdom of Satan, Whoa. they don't belong. Wow, that's good. You say the kingdom of Satan. Who is Satan? Who is he? Well, maybe someone watching right yeah. now. Satan, who's that? Now, we need to really be, we need to go back into this and realize we are in spiritual warfare. And this is not a subject that we talk about too much. It's time for us to go way deeper. Yeah. There's a real devil, a real enemy. A real adversary. This is a definition of Satan, the chief evil spirit, mm. the great ad adversary of humanity, the devil. Adversary means this, one who opposes and attacks. It also means an enemy who fights with determination, continually, without relenting. Wow. So we have an enemy that's opposing our purpose, opposing God in our yeah. lives, bringing doubt, unbelief, and he's relentless. He won't wow. stop. He doesn't sleep. And this is what he's out to do. Kill, steal, Jesus. and destroy. Wow. And Jesus came to rescue to us rescue from us this from... kingdom hmm. ruled by Satan and his mission to kill, steal, and destroy. Wow. Jesus came to rescue us. So for he has rescued us out of the darkness and the gloom of Satan's Kingdom. Man, that's powerful. So we're talking about two kingdoms. Yeah. The kingdom of God, that's faith. We're talking about fear, that's faith. And then the second kingdom is of Satan, and it has to do with fear yeah. and doubt. Wow. We're going to get into that. Man. And when this kingdom is ruling over us, right. um, what does it lead us to? Well, when what the kingdom of God is ruling yeah. over us, love, joy, peace, mm -hmm. salvation, eternal life, Unity, restoration, everything yeah. that we desire is in the kingdom of God. Wow. Now, what, the, what God is saying here, that you could experience what's in heaven here on earth. Man, that's good. Because there's no limit of what God can do. Because the kingdom of heaven rests in hearts that have placed their faith in Jesus Christ. Man, that's so we powerful. don't have to get to heaven to experience the peace of heaven. No. We could have it here on the earth. Wow. Now, the kingdom of Satan, you don't have to go to hell to experience a little hell on no, earth either. Right. So when the kingdom of Satan is ruling over our lives, it only leads to this bondage, depression, loss, division, Mm. heartbreak, poverty, violence, sickness, separation from God, and all his blessings. Wow. And it will result in a miserable life now, and it will, after this, yeah. for it, it, the misery will continue in hell forever. Wow. Now, there's a battle here. We're gonna, yeah, there we're, is right a battle. Right now, we're exposing the spiritual warfare. I love and it. And what we're saying is, we're part of one kingdom, or we're part of another kingdom. That's right. One kingdom's ruling, and you could expect the good. The other kingdom's ruling, expect the bad. That's just the way it's going to work. Man, that's powerful. Hope you guys are taking notes on this. And again, on the app, you guys, they got message notes. I would get the outlines. Could be on there tonight, tomorrow. Get it and go over it again. Now, these kingdoms, um, they have laws. Right. And you've kind of broken it up. What are the laws that govern this spiritual realm? Well, the first thing before we get into laws, I want to say this. The laws don't change. The spiritual laws mm. don't change. 
we have to be aware of them yeah. and learn how to activate the right law we want to govern our lives. So That's the good. laws don't change, okay? That's good. Uh, you know, when I went, to, uh, I went to the Virgin Islands, I grew up in yeah. the Virgin Islands, and they drive on the left side. Oh, yeah. That's I right. went to Australia. Been they there. drive on the left side. It freaks you out. <laughs> it does. It's you know, you crazy. have to get really used to it. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and because I'm so used to the laws of the United yeah, States, drive on driving the right. on the right side, I catch myself yeah. going the wrong <laughs> way, and everybody knew, Ooh. here's a tourist. That's he scary. doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> He doesn't know the laws of the Virgin yeah, Islands. He knows the laws of the United States. Wow. Now, we need to understand the spiritual laws. Yeah. Now, there's spiritual laws in the kingdom of heaven, yeah. and there's spiritual laws that we activate in the kingdom of hell. Man, I love so that. So we're going to cover these laws today. I love that. What is law number one? First law. First law is the law of faith. The law mm. of faith. This is the law that governs the kingdom of heaven. Wow. In heaven, I want you to get this, yeah. it's faith. Yeah. In heaven, there is no fear. Mm -mm. Fear is illegal. It's not allowed. Wow, that's good. When we're walking in fear, we have no access to what is, it, what wow. is in heaven, including eternal life. Wow. So we're walking in fear, we have no access to what's in heaven because heaven operates under a law of faith. So that's why the enemy wants to keep us in fear. Right. So we can't access anything in the kingdom of heaven. Or because fear is not allowed. So when we come with a spirit of fear, a mindset of fear, doubt, and unbelief, and we're trying to get access to the things of heaven, yeah. there is no access. It's impossible to it's impossible to receive anything from God with a spirit or a mindset of fear ruling us. Man, that's Because why, we're under the wrong kingdom mindset. That's why even right now it's so critical because, again, we're hearing this coronavirus. You know, they they were saying we're going to get to 100,000 deaths. Then they said 60 or 70. Now they're saying it could go up to 130. It's like, again, you can't even look at the news because, again, this spirit of fear is attacking us, like, constantly right now. And, and, and what, we're gonna, what we're doing tonight is exposing the reason. Yeah. You know, the, so the coronavirus, people ask you, well, where does coronavirus come from? It, right. did it, not, it did not come from the kingdom of heaven. No. It came from the kingdom of Satan. That's exactly right. So since it comes from his kingdom, it has his voice and it has his spirit attached wow, to it. That's so powerful. the kingdom, the law of faith. Man, that's powerful. So talking about the law of faith, what is the law of faith? The law of faith says we... We have full access to the kingdom of God full. through faith. So wow. the law of faith this, says this. Full we have access. full access. Hear this. Full access to the kingdom of God through faith. That means everything wow. that's in heaven, yeah. we only access it one way. It's a law. Mm -hmm. Through faith. Wow. You can't get salvation without faith. Healing without faith. Yeah. The peace of God without faith, restoration without faith, a miracle without faith. Man. You can't receive anything without faith. It's a law. It's a law. So the only way to gain access to anything that's in heaven is one way, through the law of faith, Man. through having faith. With no faith, there's no access. So that's why the enemy is constantly trying to bring this fear. I like what you said on, in your notes, and you're saying it now. Faith is exchange of heaven. No faith, no receiving, no miracle, no salvation, no victory. All the things that we want— is in the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, but the enemy's trying to get us into this kingdom or fear. Man. Yeah. Well, this idea is that Satan cannot stop the work of Christ. Yeah, right. Because okay. Christ has already defeated him. Right. But this is what he's going to do now. <sighs> what he wants to do is conquer our faith because once he conquers our faith, he render, renders yeah. us powerless. Man. We have no power because this is a fight of faith. Man, that's powerful. Can you read that scripture that you have here? Matthew 21, 22. Okay. Matthew 21, 22 says this. And whatever you ask, look at this, for in prayer, having faith, have, having wow. faith and really believing, you will receive. This is what the scripture is saying. When we have faith, there's a law of yeah, heaven. Yeah. We can receive whatever we ask or as long as we have faith. The exchange Man. of heaven is faith. It's powerful. It's not works. Look at this. It's not crying. I'm, I'm, I'm so going through a pity party. Oh, my God. No. It's so bad. That doesn't move heaven right. on your behalf. Wow. That doesn't give you access. Wow. Manipulating people doesn't give us any access to heaven. There's only one way to get access to the things of heaven, right. the blessings of God. One way, through faith, 
the law of faith says the only way you can access wow. anything from the kingdom of God is through faith in God. That's powerful. Somebody, maybe somebody's watching right now, Pastor, and how do you build your faith? How do you make it stronger? How do you build it up? Well, how you build your faith is by what you're hearing on a consistent mm. basis. You know, the other day I was watching CNN News, yeah. then Fox News and CNN uh -huh. News, but we had the TV on literally all day. <laughs> and this I've is what that. I found out. It's the same stories over and over yeah. and over no. and over. And I say, it's the same exact stories. It's on a loop. It is. And then I when know. I found out that the majority of these stories were about the coronavirus, yeah. and then I, I, I seen a story about. You, been, uh, you see the, the killer hornets? Yeah, the, the I seen that. The corner, killer hornet? Killer hornets. Now. Hey, you seen this hornet? It's oh the ugliest thing. Gosh. But every story yeah. was there to build faith. So this is what happened in the morning. This morning, I wake up after watching that and yeah. hearing it over and over all day. I wake up in the morning and I do my devotions in, my, in the front of my house. Yeah. It little table and when I got there there was a big a it was a big bumblebee I you know first thing I thought of killer hornet killer hornet there's a killer bee so why was I thinking Man. killer hornet because they were driving it into my mind. Man. And if you keep thinking about the coronavirus, yeah. and you keep thinking about the unemployment rate, and you keep thinking about all the bad news, and you keep thinking about everybody's going bankrupt, and you keep thinking about, <sighs> if you keep hearing that, it's gonna build faith in the Man, wrong thing. But that. how do we build faith? It's by hearing the word of God, tuning Man. in right now. Read in scripture, yeah. meditating, and yeah. what you meditate on, you build. Man, that's powerful. I love this statement you put here. Faith is confidence in God that what we want is going to happen. Can you elaborate on that? I love that point. Yeah, faith is a confidence that what we want is going to happen. Now, I want you to get this. Wow. Where we get our wants from, our desires from, mm. this, so it's, it's in the word of God. Mm. God already knows what we want. He already knows what we need. So what he's done, wow. he's put in his word corresponding promises for every single thing that we want or every single thing that wow. we need. It's in the scripture. Our job is this. God's job is this. Give us the promise. Our job is just to believe it. Wow, I love so that you say that So faith is believing in God yeah. that what you're believing for and the promise you're standing on, it's actually going to happen. You got to say that again. What's God's part and what's our part? God's part is to give us a promise. Give us a promise. He gives us his word that matches up with our wants and our needs. Wow. Our part is to do this, believe the promise and actually believe that God is going to bring it to pass. Man, I love what that. What we want is going to come to pass. Ah, so God has a promise. It's his word. All we got to do is have faith and believe. And what is faith? I, I love the scripture you have here. Um, Hebrews 11.1. 1. What is faith? The scripture says, Hebrews 11.1, 1, says, what is faith? It says, answers the question. It is the confident assurance. It's confidence. It's a conviction. It's a belief. I always said, it's a firm belief. Assurance that something we want is going to happen. Wow. It is a certainty. I am certain about this. I am certain that God's word is going to come to pass. Yes. It doesn't matter how the circumstances look right now. It doesn't matter what the economy looks like. I am wow. certain that God's promise is going to come to pass. That we have hope for it, what we're hoping for and waiting wow. for, even though we cannot see see it up ahead. What I mean, wow. you can't see with your physical eyes but you believe it in the spirit. Wow. Can you give some examples in scripture of uh, maybe God's promises? Okay. So we're believing God's promise. I'm believing yeah. God's promise. I'm believing yeah. it's going to happen. Now, yeah. this is a law of faith. Yeah. And what I believe, I get access get to. Get access. Wow. Without faith, I remember this, I cannot come into the kingdom of heaven breaking laws. Wow, that's good. And expect to receive. Yeah, you won't. You won't I can't have it. doubt. I've got to believe in I God's love it. word. I love so it. here's some promises. I go to prepare a place for you that we're... I am, you may be also. That's Our job is just to believe that. Just to believe it. Wow. He's going good. to prepare a place and one day I'm going to be with him. Wow. Or everyone, everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Be saved. My part, that's a promise. If I call on Jesus, I'll be saved. Which is my, my part is to call on Jesus and believe for salvation. Man. All things work together for good. You Man. can do all things through Christ. I will supply all wow. your needs according to your riches and glory. Ask and you will receive. If you confess your sins, I am faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Yeah. Fear. See, this is the idea is, he, said, he says, fear not, I fear am with you. Not. These are all promises. And our job is to take the promise, believe it, 
Man. And then receive it. I love it. I and get love access it. to it through law yeah. faith. Man, that, and that's what you're doing right now. You guys are listening to the word of God. It's building your faith. And as you get these promises, declare them over your life. Declare them over your situation. I love it. Faith comes from God and fear does not. I love that point. Now we got to know this. That Man. Where does faith come from? The kingdom of heaven. Wow. Fear, can't ha fear has no access into the kingdom of heaven. Wow. It's illegal. Can't enter. Love so it. we can only enter heaven through faith. I mean, through faith. Yeah, through faith. So fear can't enter. So we know this, that fear does not come from God. No. And if fear doesn't come from God, then we need to resist it with everything we have. Man. But faith does come from faith God. Faith does come from look God. What the, look what the word of God says in Romans Man. 12, 3. It says, for by this, by the grace given to me, I tell everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he should think. Instead, think sensibly. But this is, this is the point. As God has distributed distributed a measure of faith to ev to each one. What has wow. God given? What does God give? A, a measure, measure of faith, faith to each one. You know what he's saying oh. is? I've given every single human mm. being enough faith to gain access into my kingdom. Man, I so love they, that. they all they need to do is exercise the faith that they have and they can access salvation, Ooh. eternal life, forgiveness, and my abundance. I love that. You talked about faith. I like this statement here. Fear. Fear is the confidence that what we don't want is going to happen. It's the complete opposite. Man, so I love that. So fear is 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 this confidence. is demonic faith. Yeah, demonic <laughs> faith. Wow, fear good. is demonic faith. That means you're demonic. actually believing that what you don't want is going to happen. <laughs> Man, and that does not come from God. That does not. And we cannot receive anything from God. Believing that we're going to receive something from the from Satan's kingdom, man. Because what Satan wants to do is convince us that his kingdom is going to bring in yeah, yeah. what we're fearing. Wow, that's it's, it's dangerous. That is. So that's why in, in Second Timothy one seven, God warns. He says, yeah. "For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Spirit, it, but of it does fear. not say spirit. fear. It's let's put it. Let's wow. break it down even more. God has not given us a demon of fear. Demon. I call coronavirus a demon. Yeah, that's right. It is and a demon. The spirit and how do I it know it's, 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 demo it's, it's demonic? This is how I know it's demonic. It didn't come from God. It didn't come from God. It came, wow. from the, it came from the satanic kingdom. That's exactly right. So it br it's bringing sickness, pestilence, fear. So that spirit it's that's coming with the coronavirus, it's more than the virus. Yeah. It's a spirit because it comes from the demonic satanic kingdom. And Man. what it wants to do, remember, a king yeah. wants to rule. rule. So the, the demon of fear, the demon of fear, what it wants to do is rule our minds, rule our emotions, rule our actions, and take over our results. Man, that's powerful. This is the law of faith, law number one. Pastor Marco, what is law number two? The law, not, law number two is the law of fear, which is the complete polar opposite of wow. the law of faith. The law of fear governs Satan's, Satan's hmm. kingdom. The kingdom of Satan cannot rule where there is the law of faith nice. being applied wow. or practiced. Yeah. In order for Satan to gain access to our lives and carry out his plan, he needs us to activate the law of fear and doubt. Fear is wow. the atmosphere of the kingdom of Satan and attracts him. Wow. Fear is the atmosphere of the kingdom of Satan and what it does, right. it attracts him. So see, the enemy knows Man. this. If I could get them to fear, they're opening the door so I can have access to their lives. Wow. It's like fear, like, kind of sends off signals into the Satan kingdom. Right. It releases signals to his kingdom. When, when someone is walking in fear, I have a dog that's at home, and he's, he's a... He's a He's, he, he loves us. Yeah, scary dog. And, but, scary. But, but, but he'll bark at you if you come in the house. A little scary. But this is what yeah. happened. The, the, the other day, I had a little girl in the house. Mm -hmm. And this little girl was looking at him, and she, he never attacks little girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he just attacks men. Right. <laughs> but never little girls. But this little girl, when she saw him, she freaked yeah. out and started screaming, ah! Man. And you know what the dog did? He saw the fear and he ran after her wow. to attack her. It's the same thing exactly. in the spiritual realm. Demons, are, what they do is they react to fear. Matter of fact, they're attracted to fear. So when there's fear in the yeah, atmosphere, yeah. this is what it's doing, it's creating an attraction for demons to come in to kill, steal, and destroy. Wow. And even, uh, real quick, the parents, 
we're walking in this fear. We could bring this into our homes and it, it could affect our children. Right. Gosh, I love that. Job 3.25, I love this scripture in the ESV version. Can you share that scripture, Job 3.25? Now, now the, law, the law of fear says this, that what we fear, we attract into a li- our lives. Listen, mm. the law of fear says this, what we fear, we attract into our lives. Okay, what we fear attracts wow. us. Look at the scripture. In, jo- in Job 3.25, for the thing I fear comes upon me, <laughs> so and true. what I dread befalls me. It's saying so the true. thing I fear comes upon me. That so so true. this is the problem. I'm afraid that I'm going to be all alone. You're going to be all alone. Be alone. Wow. I'm afraid of being rejected. You are now attracting a spirit of rejection over your life. I'm afraid of losing control. I want to keep control of this. You will never have control. Wow. I'm afraid of getting sick. Man, you are really attracting sickness towards you. I'm afraid of losing my job. If you keep that fear going, you'll be, in a, in, you'll be unemployed. I'm afraid of being rejected. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're fearful of, this is what happens. It, I want you to attract. attract. And I'm not saying you lost your job right now right, during right, the coronavirus right. and this was a cause no, of fear. I'm not, that's no, not what different. we're talking no, no, about. No. We're talking about everyday life. The enemy sending us messages and we're believing them, we're acting on them, and we're opening the door. Now, Satan has access to our lives. Man, Satan gains access to our lives through getting us to receive thoughts of fear right. and doubt. Right. Man, that's powerful. We got to really be careful of what we're thinking right now, what we're watching, the news, and even conversations, talking to someone. Could be a family, could be a friend. You're talking, you're on the phone, you're right. texting. I mean, can you well, tap on the, that for a but second? The thing is, we, I think we need to be way more aware, aware yeah. of where this spirit is coming from. Right, right. It, it wants to rule. It wants to conquer. It's a spirit of fear, and it opens the door for access. We, we need to be careful what movies we're watching. Scary wow. movies, horror movies. I like, so it's like, I love horror movies. Yeah. But this is the problem. It comes from the kingdom of Satan, and what it does, it goes <sighs> deeper than that. It starts opening the door for Satan to come into our homes, into our lives. Fear is a spirit. And and anyone that practices the law of fear, this is what they're doing. It's a law of fear. They're opening themselves up for Satan to have access in their lives. And what they're fearing, they're going to start attracting. I've seen seen kids all of a sudden have nightmares. I've seen people watch scary movies. They've opened themselves up to the kingdom of Satan and lose their mind. I've seen it. Oh, yeah. That now their lives... Are a, are a horror movie. I, they're looking at things. They're not there anymore. They're seeing things Man. that aren't there yeah, yeah. because their minds have been taken over by hell. Man, we need to be careful. Like what you put here, we need to be careful that we're not tuning into Satan's broadcast. It's a broadcast that's being signaled out. And I love the scripture you had there, Nehemiah 6, verse 5. Can you share that scripture? It says, then we're going to law number three. We're yeah, almost there, man. It says, for the fifth time, Sambalot's servant came up came with an open letter in his hand. I want you to get this. Mm. Nehemiah is building, yeah. rebuilding a city, doing yeah. a work of God. Yeah. Now, they tried four times to get him distracted. So the fifth time, this is what I said, we know how to get him. We know how to get him. Let's instill fear in his heart. Uh, because if we instill fear in his heart, this is what's going to happen. He's going to begin to act on it, stop his assignment, and then we'll be able to come in and begin to tear down what he built up. Oh my gosh. So they it. send a letter. A letter. Send Saints a letter. always send messages. There it goes. And this is what it said. There's a rumor among the surrounding nations, and Geshem tells me it is true, that you and, your, and the Jews are planning to rebel, and that is why you're building the wall. According to his report, you plan to be there. You plan to be their king. He also reports that you have appointed prophets in Jerusalem to proclaim about you. Look, there is a king in Judah. You can be very sure that this report will get back to the king. So I suggest that you come and you talk with me. So they wanted wow. to get him to come and talk. There it goes. To get him off the assignment. There it goes. What were they trying to do? Use fear, Use fear. to get him to get off his assignment. Man. The enemy still uses this tactic. Yes, he does. He tries to get us into the law of fear right. so he can have access to our lives, to our projects, to our missions, to our families. But this is what happened. I replied, there is no truth in any part of your story. You are making up the whole thing. They were just trying to intimidate us. Imagining imagining that we, that they could discourage us 
and stop wow. the work. So I continue to work with even more determination. Isn't that Man, awesome? that is See, great. See, I, I, I didn't fall for it. No, no. Just because Satan is sending out messages of fear doesn't mean I need to tune in. I need to meditate on it. I need to repeat it. Wow, I'm not going to do it. that's good. The law of faith. The law of fear, and what is law number three? The last law is a law of choice. Now, this mm. is what it does. It gives us a choice, and this Dang. law supersedes the other two laws. Mm. The law of faith gives us access to the kingdom of heaven. Right. The law of fear says this. Whatever we fear, we attract, we attract. into our lives. Mm -hmm. Now, the law of choice is going to determine which law and which wow. kingdom will rule over our lives. Wow. So the law of choice says this that the spiritual realm will always respond to our choice. So whatever wow. choice we make right now spiritually, the spiritual realm, there's a law, yeah. they will always respond. Man. Heaven will respond if we, uh, if we apply the law of faith. Right. And the kingdom of Satan will never miss a beat. They will respond when we're practicing or activating the law of fear. Man, I love that. God has given us a choice today. Can you read Deuteronomy 30, 19 about the two choices God has given us this evening? In Deuteronomy 30, 19, it says this, today I'm giving you a choice mm. of two ways. And today we've covered two laws. The law of faith that activates and gives us access to the kingdom of heaven or the law of fear that yeah. gives attracts or gives access to the enemy yeah. to our lives. He goes, I'll give you two choice. I'll give you a choice. And I ask heaven and earth to be a witness of your choice so you can choose life, life. or death. Yeah. The first choice will bring a blessing. Yeah. The other choice will bring a curse. So choose life. Then you and your children will live. Look at this Man. scripture. It's given us a choice. And God is so loving and merciful. He says, if you're wondering which one to pick, choose life. Because it's not just going to affect you. It's going to affect your family. Wow. It's going to affect your children. Because understand, as parents, the kingdom, if we're under the kingdom of fear, at which puts mm. us under the rule yeah. of the kingdom of Satan. You know what happens? Our family's under that kingdom. Man. If we practice the kingdom of faith, that means yeah. I choose to believe, place my faith in Christ, my family's under the kingdom Man. of God. That's powerful. The spiritual realm tonight is waiting for our choice. Right. That word life in that scripture means sustenance, springtime revival, yeah. renewal, this is the life that Jesus died for. Right. This is it. So they're waiting on a choice. And God Man. is saying, look, this is what I want to bring in your life. I want to bring life and blessing. So <sighs> right now, you're going to change your seasons. It's going to be a time of blessing. It's going to be a time of restoration. And he goes, blessing, an invocation of release of God's favor, protection, prosperity, peace over, over someone. Just Man. on our choice, heaven is like saying, wow. okay. I'm ready to pour out my spirit. Man. Isn't that amazing? And that's the same way that God wants to pour out. The enemy wants to pour out. Curse. This, the words, a curse. What does curse mean? Curse means solemn utterance intended to invoke supernatural power Man. to inflict harm, punishment on someone to damn and denounce. So Man. now the kingdom of God wants to release life. Wow. The kingdom of Satan wants to release a curse, curse. over our lives. And, all, and I want you to get this. Saint can't not put anything on us that we don't give him permission. That's good. It's our choice. That's good. God is so loving that he even tells us what yeah. choice to make. Well, oh, I love that. And we could choose even to believe yeah. and be saved or refuse to believe even now. Maybe you haven't given your life to Jesus. And can you talk about that? Even that, choosing life or death, choosing to be saved or not to be saved. Now, and, then we're going to end it. We're here. Yeah. And, and this all has to do with the spiritual laws. There's laws, the law of faith yeah. gives God access to our lives and gives us access to the kingdom of God. The law of fear, this is what it does. It gives access for Satan to come into our lives and to kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. But it all starts with faith. Right now, what God does, he comes to us and he says, you have a choice. You can believe. And if you believe, I'll save you. I'll forgive you. I'll set you free. And I'll give you full access to heaven on earth and eventually heaven forever but we can refuse to believe That's right. and we refuse to believe this is what we're doing we're activating the wrong kingdom and the wrong laws in our life mm -hmm. and this is what will happen our life will not become better it'll become more miserable and eventually we'll be separated from god our family and every blessing for eternity when mark 16 wow. 15 it says this and then he told them go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone and anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved Anyone who believes will have access to salvation, yes. but anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned.
There's two different, there's two choices. Oh. And this is what, what, what God is saying. I love it. Heaven will respond to your choice. Yes. Hell will That's respond right. to your exactly choice. Right. And today, as we're sitting here, this is what we've learned today. There are two kingdoms. Yes. And either we're citizens of one or the other. One's ruling our life or the other's ruling our life. If the kingdom of heaven is ruling our life, this is what happens. This is what the truth is. Jesus is your, is your leader. You're going to experience his love, his forgiveness, a new life, eternal yes. life. Even the peace of God's available, breakthroughs available, new starts, new beginnings. They're here in the kingdom of God. And how do we gain access? By just believing. Those that believe yes. will be saved. Yes, but there, there's another group that they have a choice. They can refuse to believe. And these people remain under the kingdom of Satan, ruled by fear and doubt and depression and hurt, pain, brokenness. It never so gets better. It's just one cycle after the other. Yes. God is just speaking to us today. And he's saying, I'm giving you a little insight to the whole spiritual realm. And I've, I've come to rescue you from the kingdom and the gloom and the depression of darkness yes. and the kingdom of Satan. Today's your day. So what we're going to do is pray. In faith, believe yes, it. God. And the scripture promised us that if we believe, we believe. Yes. Whatever we're asking for, we could have it. The scripture yes. promises whoever calls upon the name, name, name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. And if today you're saying, I want to get set free from fear. Good. Yes. It doesn't come from God. And God will replace that fear with faith today. Yes. Let's pray together. Right now, yes. if you're in your car, you're in your home, this prayer it's going to give us access to heaven. Yes. The kingdom of heaven is right here, available right now to you. How do we get in? How do we get in access? One yes. way, faith in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I believe. I believe. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I, I believe. And I believe. That you died on the cross. You died on the cross. To pay the price. To pay the price. For all my sins. For all my sins. So that I could be rescued. So I can be rescued. From my, from my addictions. From my addictions. From my fears. From my fears. And sin, and sin, and my old life, and my old life. Today, today, I place my faith. I place my faith in you, Jesus. In you, Jesus. And I receive you. And I receive you. And your love. And your love. And your forgiveness. And your forgiveness. And eternal life. And eternal life. Right now. Right now. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. I am now. I am now. A child of God. A child of God. And I have access. And I have access. To the kingdom of heaven. To the kingdom of heaven. If you said that prayer. Yes. God. And you meant it. I'm going to say this. Congratulations. Yes. You've been transferred and rescued from the kingdom of Satan to the kingdom of God. Now you belong to God. And let's operate, let's build our faith and start living the life that God has planned for us to live. Yeah. God bless you.